All right, hey everyone. Um, so this is a response to Metal Skin Studios, who I just met today, and we've had a pretty cool comment exchange, and he left a response video to one of my videos, which I was pretty excited about. Um, and yes, yeah, it's, it's, as I said, it's been a productive exchange, and he asked me to watch uh, one of his videos, so from now on I'll just be addressing you, Metal Skin Studios. And I thought it was a um, an interesting video, and I guess I have something to say from my own perspective. Um, so to start off with, you asked the question. Sorry, I'll be looking over here because I took the notes on my laptop. Um, what's the difference between extremist and moderate? Um, so is it just that extremists use violence and moderates don't? Well, yeah, in a sense, I think. To keep terms kind of um, well defined, it's probably I would say you know there's extremists that use violence, there's moderates that are moderate in their beliefs and their actions, and then there's fundamentalists who have um, extreme ideas or interpretations, um, but who don't use violence. And then extremists are fundamentalists that do use violence. Uh, to me, that's just to make it kind of easier, because I do think there's a distinction between um, someone who is crazy about their particular ideology and someone who is crazy about their particular ideology who is willing to go out and shoot someone. You mentioned that you've, you've been on YouTube for a while, just, you know, looking around, talking to people, and you found that a lot of the religious people you come across are uh, fundamentalists, I, I'll call them fundamentalists, um, and they have very extreme positions. First of all, I would say that YouTube draws people with very strong opinions, so you're always going to get the most polarized people in general. And I think that's true for the atheist community as well. I think we have a lot of atheist extremists. If you look at the amount of anti-theism that goes on on YouTube, I think that's not representative at all of the general atheist community in the real world. Like, I go to an atheist um, social gathering, and I, I don't know, like, I guess some people have some anti-religious, anti-theistic uh, tendencies, but I have never really come across anyone as blatantly anti-theistic as a lot of people on YouTube, to the point that it's just religion is bad, period, full stop. Um, but, you know, obviously an extremist atheist isn't really something for anyone to worry about. You might need to worry about the other things they believe in, but the atheism side of it, I think, is fairly harmless, because what are you going to do with, with not liking religion? It's not really going to get you to blowing up things or... Uh, beheading people, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, you go on to kind of, I guess, challenge moderates to explain what their position is, and, I mean, it sounds to me a little bit like you're, you're suggesting that because it's the hardliners, the extremists, and the fundamentalists that are having the loudest voice, uh, you know, that falls on the moderates to correct them. Now, the first thing is to your first observation of the people you've met on YouTube. I guess I've had a slightly different experience in that some of my first videos were, um, were in response to Thunderfoot's video on on the atheist community and then on Draw Muhammad Day. And I had a lot of feedback from Christians and a lot of my uh, first subscribers were Christians. And then I had some interaction as well with some atheists that are on, I guess, my, that share my thoughts about this. And all of those people so far, I have to say, were like really reasonable. And I, enjoyed, you know, the brief contact I had with him. And I think 
the Christians that I've talked to about, say, for example, Girl Muhammad Day, um, have very similar views to the atheists that I talked about it. Um, so I think there's definitely a large amount of modern Christians out there on YouTube, but they get drowned out by the loud, obnoxious Christians. And to some extent, you know, that's quite natural because it's always the loudest people that get the most attention. And not just from other religious people, but also from us atheists. Um, you know, you used to have Veritas 48, I guess, and you still have lots of cool um, Christians around, and they get a lot less coverage. So if you look at Thunderfoot's material, there's just this um, big push to get Thunderfoot to debate the Rational Roundtable, who, uh, from what I can tell, is a really cool Christian that has a pretty open mind. And Thunderfoot basically has a record of not even talking about these people, not even mentioning their existence. So I think part of the perception comes from the fact that our side actually denies the existence of a moderate um, element to things. I do think there's also the fact that a lot of moderates being under attack from atheists actually, you know, want to spend, invest their effort in countering a lot of the arguments that come their way from atheists rather than worrying about uh, certain YouTubers that they might not think much of. That said, um, I've gone through uh, the people that have subscribed to me and I've really come across a lot of negative um, dismissive videos of these YouTubers, of, you know, the Shock of Gods, the Venom Fang Xs, the, uh, the Nephilim Freeze, from these moderate Christians. And it's, I think it's just that that kind of response doesn't get the airtime, especially in the atheist community, that the initial, you know, crazy video from from Venom Fang X gets and his insane antics. I think it's very much kind of a showbiz um, problem. So, you know, I, I think, and I think in a, in a way also that, you know, that's, that's why I made a lot of my early videos so far about Drum Muhammad Day and things that I disagree with. And my initial you know, not many people watched it, but the response initially was overwhelmingly negative, and the only comments I got initially on uh, some of my videos were basically just people calling me names, and these were atheists calling me names, um, or just being very dismissive of my opinion on things, because I was disagreeing with their position. So, trying to so to speak, you know, keep your own house in order is a, is a kind of thankless task um, compared to, I mean, I'm sure if I made videos where I was somehow, you know, toting, I'll just call it the Thunderfoot line, um, you know, all the people, the couple of people, it wouldn't be many, but whatever amount of people come across my video will probably, um, you know, thumbs up it or leave positive comments, but as soon as you don't do that, you get attacked. So, you know, house, housekeeping is, is not something that is very good for getting subscribers or for feeling particularly good about yourself. Um, and that, that might be what's, you know, preventing it from happening more, although, as I said, I do think it does happen a lot. Uh, and I, I'll link to some of the videos that I'm talking about um, below. So, the last thing I want to say, this video is probably already like 20 minutes long again, um, is just to bring it back to some of my own experience, which is I'm what you could consider a radical left winger. My ideas are way out there. And I think a lot of people write 
or even center right would consider my ideas to be, uh, you know, immoral um, and dangerous and, you know, bad. Um, so, but I think, you know, I, I have my own personal thoughts about why I consider my ideas moral. So just because they think my ideas, they probably think my ideas are immoral, doesn't lead me to, you know, doesn't make me a bad person off the bat. But, and I'm against violence, so I'm not an extremist, but I guess you could, I'm not a fundamentalist because I'm not going to adhere to something just because someone said it, or at least I try not to, you know. Um, but I'm certainly a radical. Um, and when you go to YouTube and you look at a lot of very, very left-wing left-wingers, several of them seem to want to step over step over corpses. And the same goes for the other side. And so far, one of the reasons why I haven't been making political videos much is because I'm still somewhat worried about what's going to come my way if I make a video about my left-wing position or if I make a video criticizing other people on the left about their mistaken opinions. And I'm very aware of the fact that when I do these kind of things, I'm going to be treading on eggshells to make sure not to offend anyone, because personally I don't like getting attacked. Um, so, you know, that's that's something that does hinder me because, you know, of my own internal cowardice from from really putting my opinion out there more. And I think, you know, that's something that goes on in all of these groups. And when you go outside YouTube into the real world, obviously, again, the left wing has had some terrible crimes associated with it, like the things that Stalin did, the things that Mao did, the things that left wing terrorists did. And I would like to dissociate myself with from those things because I think, you know, I can't say that they're not necessarily that they don't fit into any left wing ideology because I think they could justify lots of their the ideologies those people held as left wing, but they don't fit into the way that I interpret these ideas. And you know, I think if I say this like that, it sounds a lot like someone saying well, my idea about what Jesus is, is completely different from what that crazy, um, hating person, you know, that Baptor, Bap, Bapro, I don't, okay, I give up. You know, those people that have the signs of, you know, the, or that have to pick at the soldier funerals. So a lot of Christians will say, you know, my idea of Jesus is way different from that guy's idea of Jesus, and you shouldn't associate us. In a similar way, my ideas of my left-wing ideas are really different from those of people um, that have done terrible things. And I guess it's fair to ask me, how are your ideas different and how are they not going to produce the same results? But I don't think it's fair to just say, well, see, they were left wingers. You're a left winger. Therefore, your ideas will have to, you know, have a similar outcome where they're dangerous. And so we should, you know, uh, treat you as an extremist by association. Long ramble video again. I just, I, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, if all of my videos turn out to be 20 minutes long, I'm never gonna get anyone to watch the whole damn thing. Uh, but this was Church of STFU. Um, thanks for your uh, very um, insightful comments and your video response. And I'm going through your channel. And that, that's your good material that you've put up. Um, Metal Skin Studios. And, you know, I'm sure we'll be in touch and talking more about stuff. Alright, good night everyone.